Hi guys, Nathan Chen is an American figure skater who competes in single skating. He is an Olympic bronze medalist, three-time world champion, champion of four continents, three-time Grand Prix final winner, and five-time U.S. champion. He was nicknamed the King of Quads for his success in the quadruple. But before we start, subscribe to our channel, like and share the video on social networks. Next, we will tell you how world champion figure skater Nathan Chen lives. Nathan was born on May 5, 1999 in Salt Lake City. He was the youngest child in a large family of Chinese immigrants. Nathan started skating at the age of three. He recalled in an interview, my family loves to skate, so we ended up making it kind of a family event. We would go to mass skating and just spend time together. I fell in love right away then. I really, really enjoyed being on the ice. But Nathan didn't choose figure skating right away. He had many other hobbies. Ballet, gymnastics, hockey, chess, and the boy also took piano lessons. We can only guess what all these hobbies cost the boy's parents, Nathan said. Our family was so poor that even my first pair of skates I got a rather complicated way. I persuaded my father to go to a company that was engaged in the production of sports equipment for skaters and ask for at least some skates with boots as a gift. I ended up getting them, and all the subsequent pairs I received about the same scheme. The young skater was able to pay other expenses thanks to the help of charity funds, and his coach, Rafael Harutunyan, helped him a lot. For this support, I am very grateful to him and to all those people who were not indifferent to the fact that one little boy really wants to skate. At the age of four in 2003, Nathan took part in figure skating competitions for the first time. And in 2010, at age 10, he won a gold medal and became the youngest U.S. champion. At that time, Nathan had two coaches, Evgenia Chernysheva and Rafael Harutyunyan. Since December 2011, Harutyunyan became the main coach of the athlete. Almost all of Nathan's coaches are of ex-Soviet origin. Besides Arutyunyan and Chernyshova, Marina Zueva also trained with the figure skater. Nathan explains, When I was very young, I was not able to make a choice on my own, as you understand my mother did it for me. And for some reason, she trusted Russian specialists very much and really appreciated their attitude. We had a woman from Russia working at the rink, and my mom took me to her, piously believing that she would surely teach me the right attitude to work and a tough attitude to myself. And that's exactly what happened. That's why my skating technique is more Russian than American. Nathan Chen became the first skater in history to perform five and six quadruple jumps in one program. He has mastered all types of quadruples, Flip, Lutz, Tulip, Salcho, and Ritberger. Except for the Axel, but they say no one can do it. For his incredible technique, the American is called the King of Quadruples. Chen told in an interview what blood is given to these royal jumps. Remember that one made quadruple is training 365 days a year, thousands of hours on the ice, 300 attempts a week, and less than 100 will be successful. The other 200 are falls. What do falls get you? Broken ankles, fingers, hands, feet. I think I've injured myself over the years in figure skating everything I can. Nathan appeared on the international scene in the pre-Olympic season in the fall of 2012 at the Junior Grand Prix in Austria, which he won. The following year, he competed full-time in the junior stages in Mexico and Belarus, which he also won and earned the right to compete at the Junior Grand Prix Finals in Fukuoka, Japan. In December 2013, he won a bronze medal in Japan. In January 2014, he won the U.S. Junior Championships for the second time and earned the right to compete in Sofia at the Junior World Championships. In March in Bulgaria at the World Junior Championships, he won the bronze medal in a hard-fought competition. In the following season, he managed to compete only once at the Junior Grand Prix in Croatia, where he did not perform well for himself, coming in second place. In January, he competed at the U.S. National Championships, where he placed eighth. In early March, he competed in Tallinn at the Junior World Championships, where he took fourth place in a difficult competition. The skater started the 2015-2016 season in August in Anaheim, where he finished first. Then, in the fall of 2015, Chen competed in two Junior Grand Prix events in the United States and Spain, which he won and qualified for the Junior Grand Prix final in Barcelona, which he also won in December. In January 2016, competing at the U.S. Championships, he won a bronze medal. In the short program, he performed a quadruple salcho and a quadruple tulip and became the first American figure skater to jump two quadruple jumps in the short program. Following the U.S. Championships, it was decided to send him not only to the Junior Championships in Hungary, but also to his home world championships. However, shortly before the start in De Bersen, at a demonstration performance after the U.S. Championships, the American figure skater suffered an injury to his left hip and was forced to end his season early. 
Nathan chose a profession far from the world of sports. He entered the medical faculty of Yale University. Despite the serious sports load, he coped well with the admission exams, surprising the examining committee. The figure skater was enrolled in the courses of general medical education. Now Nathan can be seen with a textbook on the podium after the performance or with a laptop during the draw. Chen, by the way, is considered one of America's smartest athletes in history. Because of his studies at Yale, Nathan doesn't have the opportunity to study with a coach in person. That's why he and Haru Tunyan practice training via Skype, and there are two skating rinks on the Yale campus. The figure skater puts on the computer, shows the coach the program in a video call. Raphael comments on everything and gives Chen advice. Surprisingly, the result of such seemingly incomplete trainings are impressive victories of recent years. Nathan is an Olympic bronze medalist, a three-time world champion, and a champion of four continents. The figure skater began his Olympic season in September, performing in Salt Lake City at the U.S. International Figure Skating Classic and winning gold. A month later, he competed in the Russian Grand Prix series, where he also finished as the winner, beating Yuzuru Hanyu. At the last stage of the Grand Prix, Skate America, he took gold, however, losing in technique to his rivals. In the free skating program, Chen performed two quadruple lutzes, a quadruple lutz, triple tulip cascade, and a quadruple lutz in the second half of the program, becoming the first skater in history to do so. He won the Grand Prix final in Nagoya. At the U.S. National Championships in January 2018, he won gold by cleanly performing five quadruple jumps in the free skating program. Following the national championships, Chen, Vincent Zhou, and Adam Rippon were named to the U.S. Olympic team for the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, Korea. The figure skater began competition in the team event in early February, even before the Olympic Games opened in Korea. In the short program, Chen took fourth place among 10 participants, scoring 80.61 points behind skaters from Japan, Israel, and Canada. Chen did not participate in the free skating program. The U.S. team eventually finished with bronze medals. In the individual tournament, Nathan took 17th place in the short program, having rolled extremely unsuccessfully. However, the American managed to pull himself together and performed well in the free program, landing six quadruple jumps, five of them clean, the second quadruple flip with a slip, and showed the best result in it, 2 ton 15 8, almost nine points ahead of second place winner Yuzuru Hanyu. Chen finished fifth overall, just 042 points behind China's Jin Boyang, who finished fourth. At the World Championships in Milan, he performed the short program cleanly, taking intermediate first place. A day later, he performed a historic free program, landing six quadruple jumps, improving his result from the Olympic Games. His final score was 321.40. Nathan Chen took gold and became the world champion. The first competition of the 2020-2021 season for Chen was the Skate America Grand Prix, which he won. At the U.S. Championships, he became the American champion for the fifth time and became the first skater since two-time Olympic champion Dick Button to manage to win his fifth consecutive national title. At the World Championships in Stockholm, the skater fell from the quadruple Lutz in the short program and took an intermediate third place. In the free program to the compositions of Philip Glass Chen, performed all elements without errors, jumped five quadruple jumps, and with a total score of 320, 88 points, became the world champion for the third time in his career. In the end, the US team won the silver medal, there is very little information about Nathan's personal life, except that there is information that the young man at one time met with a colleague on the ice, Amber Glenn. But then the couple broke up. It is worth saying that there were rumors about love affairs. Only to confirm or deny the information can he himself. Chen is considered the most popular Asian American among young people. He recalls, I was often told that it was impossible for an Asian to get into a good university, that it was impossible to become a popular person that it was impossible to jump six quadruplets in one program. I proved that nothing is impossible. And his home state even got its own day. May 16 is Nathan Chen Day in Salt Lake City. In general, with such a crazy schedule, in which the figure skater and student now lives, it is difficult to allocate any time for a personal life. And what other years he has, the guy is only 24. The name Nathan Chen is well known to many fans of figure skating. To date, the young man is one of the best figure skaters in the world. It is worth saying that Nathan Chen at Skate America 2020 once again proved his superiority. People already know a lot of useful information, but some details are still not known to everyone. The figure skater can possibly be called an American. In 1988, his parents permanently moved to America from China. His father at that time was a scientist, a medic. This man simultaneously worked and studied. As for the skater's mother, she was a medical translator. 
Nathan has a sister. Her name is Alice Chen. At all major competitions, she cheers for him. He has quite a large base of his fans and admirers. Nathan has never hidden the details of his personal life. Guys, if you liked our video, but you haven't subscribed to us yet, then subscribe right now and post the video on social networks. There will be a lot of interesting stuff in the next episodes. See you soon. Bye.